Hey there, this is Renee and welcome back. This is going to be a pick a card reading for a no contact with someone you love. Um, how they really feel about you at this time. When will you be making contact? See them again. And where the love situation is going. Okay. So we're going to ask these questions. We have three stones. And three decks to choose from. We have the beautiful lapis lazuli stone. And the spellcasters tarot. We have the beautiful Tiger's Eye Stone and the After Tarot. Or we have the beautiful Pink Quartz and the Modern Witch Tarot. Okay, so take a moment and choose which deck you prefer and then we will get started okay if you choose to choose more than one deck of course you can do so if one deck isn't quite resonating feel free to choose another deck um, remember that the roles can be reversed okay so if one kind of feels more like your energy choose another deck okay um, but yeah we'll go ahead and get started I'll have all of the timestamps below for you to choose. And um, yeah, so we will get started on this, okay? Okay, so if you pick the Spellcasters Tarot and the Lapis Stone, this reading is for you, okay? Let's take a look. Okay, so we have the Nine of Wands, we have the Seven of Pentacles, we have the Lover's card, okay, we have the Three of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, the King of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and the Ten of Cups, beautiful. At the bottom, we have the Six of Swords. Along with the Six of Swords, we also have the King of Cups and the Queen of Wands. So I definitely feel like, with this King of Cups here, I feel like, you know, this boat is moving towards this King. So I feel like you guys are really trying to make some kind of schedule, some kind of invitation and invite to finally meet up and connect um i'm feeling with this king of cups energy this king of cups he's very tender very supportive very loving he knows how to control his emotions and i feel like you as the queen of wands i feel like you feel like there's a lot of chemistry in this situation you feel very connected to this king okay and you're ready to move forward on this issue but i feel like there's some kind of communication holding you back you're waiting for communication i feel like maybe you're in different time zones um maybe you work different shifts um, but i feel like one person is waiting for the other to communicate okay so maybe you're you know not getting an answer, leaving on voicemail, and then having to wait. Or maybe you send a text or video chat and you have to wait for a response. Because I feel like there's some kind of time constraint. There's something holding both of you back. There's something that may be beyond both of your control. Because I feel like both of you are maybe very focused on work. You may be very focused on building some kind of career, some kind of situation to where you have to put a lot of time in. 
okay so I feel like there there's a big time constraint here there's something holding both of you back but I feel like there is definitely a lot of a lot of chemistry I feel like you and this person feel a lot of chemistry. You may have met each other in some kind of social setting or from a friend of a friend, okay? But I feel like when you do come together, it's like, what I want to say is heaven on earth. I see the rainbow and the heart gleaming with happiness, okay? So I feel like this is something that you both want. But I feel like it's it's like so hard to obtain because of some kind of issue. Okay. Um, with this Nine of Pentacles and the King of Swords, I feel like there's a lot of communication here. I feel like there's a lot of things that you want to say to this person. There's a lot of things that they want to say to you. I feel like this person is at the time of their life when they're ready to build something very meaningful. They're ready to build something very valuable because I feel like they're, they've already worked on their independence. They've already worked on their wealth. Now they want to work on love. So they may already have a career in place, um, but I feel like there's something lacking. There's, there's some kind of truth that they want to display, okay? Um... Very interesting. I really feel like this this King of Swords, I feel like they they may like to communicate. They may like to talk. I feel like when they're sending you some kind of communication, they're like sending you some kind of communication. You know, I feel like the texts are very long. The video chats could be very long. Um, the messages could say a lot. Um, but I feel like in this situation, I feel like you are ready to test out the waters. You're ready to make this connection complete. Because you feel like this may be a soulmate connection. You feel like, you know, already connected to this person. You know, because I feel like you have been spoke, speaking to each other for a while. Um... But I still feel like there's some part that you're protecting. Okay? You see, she's dipping her toes in the water. She's testing out the way this emotion feels. But she's also covering her cup, protecting it from anything getting inside. So I feel like, especially with this Nine of Wands energy, I feel like you are protecting yourself. You may be on the defense and may not even know it. I feel like this energy could be your person's as well. Um, because I feel like there's a lot of things that still are kind of left unsaid. So there, there may be a few things that you and this person are not aware of. Okay, um, let's get some cards to take a look at how this person, what this person wants to say to you. Let's see. And then we'll take a look at your energy. Okay. Okay. Take a look at what your person would want to say to you. Spirit, what does the person they have no contact with have to say? What do they have to say at this time? What is on their mind? What is in their heart? What is left unsaid or hidden? Okay. I wish things could be different. So I really do feel like this person really wants to have contact. They really want things to be different. They really want to lessen the space between you. Because I feel like um, 
this space is starting become to become unbearable okay because i feel like this person feels the same chemistry you do okay i wish i had treated you better okay so i what i'm feeling is that you know your person maybe they didn't say the right thing the last time they spoke to you or maybe emotions got a little high because of having no contact you know sometimes when you can have no contact with someone it can sometimes get unbearable and you know the emotions get high there could be conflicts or emotions put into it you know and I feel like maybe the last time you spoke with this person I feel like maybe something may have been said to that may have unintentionally hurt your feelings or unintentionally came out the wrong way um, but I feel like this person is saying that they, they kind of wish they had never said that to you they had never brought that up I wish I could share my good news with you. So I feel like there's some kind of good news that your person wants to share with you that they want to tell you about. Um, I left you before you could leave me. I'm, I feel like the, if this is communication, I feel like maybe they hung up because they thought that you were going to hang up or they kind of ghosted you because they thought you were going to ghost them because of this situation um i feel like that may be the reason for the no contact i feel like it's kind of petty you know maybe a little immature and i feel like they they kind of know it's immature. They, they know how it's coming across. That's the reason why they have this regret on how they, how they left things. On how they interacted the last time they saw you. I want to feel that way again. So, I, like I said, I feel like this person has some regrets about the way they left things with you. They, they want to fix things with you. Um, they feel like you came closer than anyone else. So they definitely feel some sort of connection with you. Some sort of connection that is maybe irresistible. Some sort of connection that they just can't deny. Because you feel like a soulmate to them. They, they feel the chemistry. They feel this intense chemistry with you but they also feel like you're holding back like they're not sure if you feel the same thing they do you know I, I feel like there's a lot of questions unanswered there's a lot of things left unsaid but I feel like this person is ready to build something here um, they're ready to end off with a happy note, you know, build this happy life, have this happy meeting, you know, with this Ten of Cups energy. Okay, abundance, keeping a positive mindset, manifesting exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. So I definitely feel like this person feels very happy just speaking with you. They feel, you know, they may feel a sort of way, but I feel like as soon as they start communicating with you, they, you know, they perk up in a smile and they may bring up good humor. Um, I, I feel like it's very easy to speak with you about things that maybe is on their mind, um, things that they're concerned with, the future. You know, I, I feel like they find you very easy to speak to. They feel like you are a new beginning. 
We have the phoenix, a new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, changed mind. So you are a new beginning for them. Um, deck number one. We also have twin flames. See what I'm saying? They, they feel like you're this soulmate to them. Like you bring balance into their life. Like you, you kind of compliment them. You can, I feel like you may come to a point where you're like finishing each other's sentences. You know, you kind of can recognize what they're saying before they say it. Because I feel like your chemistry is just so deep, you know. Um, very interesting. And we have lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany. Okay, transformation. So I feel like this person may be trying to set up a surprise visit with you. I feel like they want to surprise you. They want you to uh, be surprised that they're actually coming. They're actually uh, coming to to see you, you know, and I feel like, you know, I'm taking the cat out of the bag here, but I feel like they really want to surprise you. We have, I miss you. So I feel like this person misses you very deeply. They're missing you very deeply. And we have, this is a sign. I feel like there's some sort of sign between you two to let you know how much each other cares. There may be some sort of sign that you do, some sort of thing that you specifically do each time you speak or each time you see each other. Blowing kisses. Wow. Beautiful energy. Okay, I feel like this person really, really, really <laughs> wants to spend time with you. They want to really come with the invitation. But I feel like there may be a moment of hesitation because they may feel like you may not feel the same way they do, okay? I feel like that's not very clear. It's not very clear to them how you feel. Um, but I feel like they're, they're, they're willing to wait. They're willing to wait on a sign from you, okay? Okay. Okay, if there's any answers that you need to any questions, I feel like the answer is no. Um. <laughs> and if there's any answers to any questions, I feel like the answer is yes. So, you know what? I'm feeling like this person just wants to make you happy. They're willing to say yes or no to whatever you ask because this person really wants to spend time with you. Um, they really want to have a positive outcome, you know. And for some reason, I feel like this person is looking for some sign of forgiveness. Like I said, maybe they have did something that kind of made you feel a certain way. Um, but I feel like this person is very positive, very happy, very humorous. I feel like they could be kind of like a prankster, you know. Um, so it's very interesting energy. Okay, so let's see, let's get... A card here. See where this C 
situation is going. Okay, I feel like this person really wants some honesty and communication. They really want to feel that. And I feel like angelic protection, this person wants to protect and honor you is what I'm getting. I'm getting honor you. Okay. Um, so very interesting energy. Okay. Now sometimes these cards can give us a time span okay so spirits give me a message for pile number one when will this no contact break when will deck number one see their soulmate their twin flame the person that they desire in this reading Oh my goodness, a year from now, things are going to be totally different. I certainly hope it's not a year from now. But Spirit is letting you know it's up to you. Okay? Um, it could be a year from now. It could be up to you to make that sooner. So I, I feel like Spirit is leaving it up to you where you want to go in this situation. Okay? Um, so, pile number one, that is what I have for you. So, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And if this reading doesn't resonate, move on to pile number two. If you chose pile number two and the after tarot, and the tiger's eye heart this reading is for you let's get some energies for you pile number two get some energies for your person spirit give me a message for pile number two's person why there's no contact when will they see this person and how they truly feel okay let's get some energy pile number two okay we have the eight of swords okay we have the ten of wands excuse me yeah the ten of wands we have the knight of cups we have the tower we have the Page of Swords, the Eight of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Lovers. Beautiful energy. At the bottom, we have the Seven of Wands. Okay, so, pile number two. This is what I'm getting. I'm getting that this person may have went through a hard breakup. They have may have went through a lot of conflict in the past. And they're not willing to give up their healing. Their feeling of healing. Their feeling of balance. Okay? So, to be totally honest with you, I feel like this person is holding themselves back because they feel burdened with the situation. Um... They feel like there's a lot of changes that they're going through. There's a lot of things that they're going through. There's a lot of burdens they're trying to release. I feel like this person has went through a lot of lessons, a lot of challenges, and they're working through letting these things go. Okay? Um, but I feel like they're actively working on letting these things go. Um, I, but I feel like your person is... Feeling like love coming in at this moment would bring too much change, too much distraction. Okay, so I feel like they may be pulling back a bit. I feel like they may be kind of looking for some other distraction. But I do feel like this person is very curious. I do feel like when you speak to this person, this person is very curious 
on how things may be um, in a situation with you. Um, I feel like they may be kind of holding you on a string in a kind of way um, with their communication. But I feel like with this Page of Swords energy, I feel like they're kind of naive in a way that they may not want to take a leap this soon because I feel like whatever they went through is not very far you know I feel like they've walked away from someone um, not very long ago okay but I feel like they're they're communicating with you because they feel like there may be a chance to grow into the situation but I, I feel like they're you know they they find value in your communication okay and they feel like if you just have patience if you find the same value they do and just have patience that I feel that like you will be led to each other there would be some sort of action taken into more of a happy plan you know because I feel like this person definitely wants to be happy but they're scared of this tower moment they're scared of this disruption this change you know um, I feel like they finally have their balance and they're they're worried that they may end up in the same place that they left okay but I feel like this person just needs some time before they're able to come to you to make a move but I feel like if this person does make a move I feel like you will be the one that they're moving towards okay I hope that makes sense to you pile number two okay let's get some communication cards let's get some love messages for pound number two some love messages please what is so hard for pound number two's person to say give me a message what is so hard for pound number two's person to say I wish I had treated you better so it could be that the last time they spoke to you that things just did not come out the way that they planned it could be that they said something that may have offended you, that may have hurt your feelings, or may have kind of distanced you from communicating with them. I feel like this person really wants to say, I love you, or I can love you. Um, I just need more time. That's what I'm getting with that card. Um, I bury myself in work to forget about you. So I feel like this person tries to stay very busy because I feel like they're they're getting feelings. They're getting feelings for you, um, pile number two, with this Ten of Pentacles energy and this Lovers. You know, their their feelings are growing, and they may not even really feel that they're growing but in the back of their mind that's what they think about is you that's what they think about is spending more time with you spending time together you know and I feel like this person is changing and growing whether they see it or not I hope that makes sense okay um, I lost myself for a little while and I definitely feel that energy with this um, Eight of Swords energy, this Ten of Wands energy. I feel like they lost themselves for a while because they were very hurt by a situation from the past. Um, they really didn't know how to move past it or how to grow from it. They may have felt like, you know, everyone was going to treat them the same way. You know, every relationship was going to end up the same. And I feel like that's the reason why they're looking for some sort of distraction to keep themselves apart. Okay. Um, 
I feel you even though we're apart. You know, so I definitely feel like even though you're apart, they think about you. They think about your conversations, about if they have had contact, your last meeting, your last get together, your last date, you know, the last time you were together. Okay, I feel like they can't get that out in their mind. They're like thinking very deeply of this, you know, but they're trying to distract themselves because they are so fearful for what this could be. Okay, they're just fearful of what it may not be. Okay, you came closer than anyone. So I feel like you have started to break down the walls, pile number two. And I feel like that has made this person even a little more leery. Okay? I hide behind material things. So I, I feel like, you know, this person may, you know, really talk about the things that they have, the things that they're getting the work that they're done, the accomplishments they've done, because I feel like they're making small talk to keep it less emotional, okay? To keep it less personal, because they're like hiding behind the emotions of how they really feel. They're hiding behind the fact that they are not ready to tell you how much they're thinking about you. They're not ready to tell you exactly how they're feeling, how much they may care. Okay? Okay, so we have separation, sadness, missing you. Thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. So I feel like with this separation card, I feel like the person is really, you know, missing you so very much. I feel like they, they like think about you all the time. We've already went over this with these, you know, love messages. Um, but I feel like they, you know, they're like yearning for you. They don't like this separation. They really don't. Um, see, we have camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past and make memories. I definitely feel like this person wants to make more memories with you. I feel like they, you know, reminisce about your conversations, about the things that you say a, a whole lot. You know, I feel like they, when, when they have this, when they're alone, I feel like they think about you constantly. And I feel like when they're thinking about you constantly, they may text you or they may send you some kind of call hoping that you'll answer. And sometimes I feel like they may call or text more than once to try to get your attention. Okay. Um... As a matter of fact, I feel like they do it several times because they feel like you're not answering. Like, you may have changed your mind on how you feel about them. Okay? Um, but I feel like they yearn to speak with you. They need your communication. They care a whole lot about you. Okay? Okay, we have, wow, I want you. Daydreaming. Focus on family. Okay. I, I feel like this person. I, I feel like they have a need to focus on family. So uh, there may be responsibilities that they have. That they're kind of distracting themselves with. But I, like I said. I feel like this person is daydreaming. They want you. They want you badly. <laughs> I feel like that's, that's what they think about. This person may be a bit older. Um, maybe by a few years or by five, six years, maybe. Um, but I feel like this person is definitely older, but I feel like they, even though they may be older, I feel like they may not have as much experience as you do. 
Um, maybe this person was married at a young age, or maybe this person really focused on their career, on, you know, building up their success before they wanted to build up on a relationship, on family, okay? We have, I still love you, okay? And I feel like they may not have spoken the words yet, but I feel like they want to. We've got, I love you twice. And we have new love is coming soon. So I, you know what? I feel like with this new love is coming soon, I feel like this person really wants to have an invitation to be with you, to come over. Your bonds are growing stronger. And we have this is just the beginning. Wow, very intense. Very intense reading here. Um, so I feel like this person has a lot to say. But I feel like your bond is just growing stronger um, with each communication that you have. Um, this person is changing. They're growing. They, they may accept the new changes that new love will bring to them. Um, because I feel like they're kind of hiding behind the emotions of saying that, you know, they're being distracted. But I feel like you are the distraction, you know. I feel like this is just the beginning phases. But I feel like this has the ability to grow into something very deep, okay. We have, there's something better. So I feel like this person may be saying that you could do better than them. You could do so much better. Um, but I feel like, you know, you may be able to do better than them. But I feel like you have this connection. Okay? And they want you not to stop. Don't stop. <laughs> so whatever you're doing, pile number two, don't stop because they really enjoy your communication. They really enjoy, you know, talking with you, having the excitement. OK, and. Oh, wow. OK, OK, so these these cards wanted to pop out. The situation will improve. So I feel like the situation is going to get better. If there's no contact, I feel like there's going to slowly be contact. Within the next few months, I feel like there are going to be big, happy changes. Okay? So I feel like that's what's coming forward for you. Big, happy changes. And I feel like you may have contact with this person in the near future so that may be very soon okay so it's beautiful energy for you pile number two um let's go ahead and get some more cards here what can pile number two do to strengthen this relationship this communication with this person. What can pile number two do to strengthen this situation? Raise your vibration. Be more positive. Be more happy. Be more outgoing. Um, I feel like you're manifesting this anyway. You know? And we also have sacred plan. <laughs> so spirit wants you to plan on this situation. And do the work. Okay, I really feel like it's the heart work that needs to be done. Maybe working on your heart chakra, working on your throat chakra for open communication. Okay, um, but I feel like there needs to be a clear plan and action, pile number two. Because I feel like this person is waiting for you to take some kind of action. Okay, so pile number two. This is what I have for you. 
So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And take a look at your sun, moon, and rising. If this pile does not resonate, move on to pile number three. Or take a look at pile number one. Okay? Okay. Okay, pile number three. If you chose the Modern Witch Tarot in the beautiful pink quartz stone, then this reading is for you. Okay, let's take a look at your person's energy. Let's see what's going on. What's going on with this person, pile number three? Spirit, give me a message for pile number three's person. Um, what to expect how do they really feel where is this connection going and when will this no contact subside okay give me a message for pile number three please message for pile number three okay so we have knight of wands we have the nine of swords we have the Queen of Swords. We have the Hierophants. We have the Ten of Wands. The Knight of Swords. The Eight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Wands. Eight, eight. Wow. And two Knights. Okay, at the bottom we have the World. So I'm feeling with this energy, I'm feeling like this person is just completing a cycle. I'm feeling like they may be on the move. They may be traveling. They may have had to leave something behind to pursue some sort of dream, some sort of ambition. But I feel like this person is going through a lot of changes. They're going through a lot of emotions, a lot of, they made a lot of sacrifices, okay? Uh, with the Knight of Wands and the Nine of Swords. I feel like this person is passionately pursuing something that they have a lot of interest in. But if you notice, this Knight is moving away from this Nine of Swords. You know, I feel like they're, they may be, you may be moving in different directions. Okay? And I feel like this person really is kind of, I want to say distraught, um, but I, I want to say that they're weary of the situation. They're weary that you're moving in different directions. Um, it could be that they may need to travel to see you. They may need to um, have long trips to come see you, but I feel like they're feeling kind of tired kind of weary okay I feel like this person has a lot of experience I also feel like this person has a lot of struggles a lot of challenges that they're facing right now okay um, and I feel like this person wants to be bold and tell you exactly how they feel they want to deliver the truth to you because they feel like you deserve to hear it from them you deserve to hear the truth, whatever the truth may be, okay? Um, but I feel like, I'm really feeling like this person may be tied down already. Um, I feel like they may be in the middle of something. They may be in the middle of a divorce, in the middle of a situation where they have just broken up or just leaving a situation. Um, but I feel like, they may not have told you in the beginning that they were not all the way available, okay? Because I feel like this person is kind of heavy burdened. I feel like they're, they're like moving, look at this, they're moving in the same direction, okay? But this person is taking action and this person is just thinking about it, okay? Um, but I feel like they, they may have been too hasty 
when they started communicating with you. They may have said something that may not have been totally true. They may not have been totally honest with you. Um, and I feel like they really want to come clean. I feel like they're, they're working on telling you exactly what's going on. Um, because I feel like they, they know that you deserve, that you, they're starting to value you as a person. They, they kind of see a connection with you that, or what things could be if they were more available. Okay. Um, but I feel like they're like working on the situation. They're working on a... An out is what I'm getting. They're working on finding an out. Maybe they're in some type of unhappy relationship that is leaving them very unfulfilled and they're looking for a way out so that they can be with you. Okay, let's get more information for this with the love messages tell me tell me what this person is really feeling tell me what's going on what would they say to deck number three what would they say okay i'm starting to understand our connection okay so i feel like this person feels a lot of support than they're when they're communicating with you i feel like this person is really viewing you as someone who's very valuable, someone that they really like to talk to and communicate. Um, if you notice, if you were watching any of the other um, readings, we've gotten this communication card each time with three different decks. Okay, so I definitely feel like, you know, there's a lot of communication going back and forth. Okay. I am becoming a better person. So I feel like they, they feel like they're a better person when they're speaking with you. They feel like you're a good person, so you're kind of rubbing off on them, um, if that makes any sense to you. Um, I feel like at some point they're kind of absorbing your energy um, because I feel like you may be very outgoing, very positive, very nurturing, and I feel like they may be absorbing your energy. So they feel like they're becoming a better person just by knowing you or talking to you. Okay. I know that I crossed the line with you. So I feel like the things that they want to say to you, the things that they have to get off of their chest, they, they feel like they're crossing the line. They feel like you are just not going to understand. But I feel like they, they're trying to say, I love you unconditionally. Okay, and they're afraid, afraid to move forward with the situation because they're afraid of you finding out exactly what's going on too early before they can come to some kind of conclusion on what they want to do. Um, so they're afraid to contact you. Okay, um, but I feel like this person really wants you to know that they have a connection with you. They may have a very deep connection with you. And I feel like they're willing to risk it all. Yeah, see, look at this. I'm not available. So I feel like they, they're not totally available at the moment. You know, and I feel like when they communicated with you, they kind of lost themselves for a while. Maybe they lost themselves in your communication and um, maybe drifted off into this place where they felt like they may have been available to pursue something better than what they have now. Okay. Um, very interesting. And they regret lying to you. My life is not as together as it seems. So I feel like whatever they're telling you, I feel like they're they're letting you know that you know things aren't exactly what they seem. 
but they want the truth to come out because they want to build something with you or have a chance to build something with you okay i wonder if you'd be happy without me so i feel like this person doesn't want to view you without them totally in their life you know um but i feel like this person kind of understands that they're not worthy of you that you're a uh, too good of a person for them i feel like that may be the reason why they're absorbing your energy pile number three uh, because they feel like they're becoming a better person because they're you know communicating with you you know having these conversations having these long thoughts they're absorbing your energy they're um really wanting to be the person that you want them to be you know very interesting hmm they feel like they was a distraction for your pain we both know i'm not the one for you hmm very interesting energy let's get some love oracle cards let's see what's going on here what how does this person really feel what's going on with this person spirit give me a message for this person what's going on with this person please okay we have soulmates they feel that there's a very strong connection with you there's a very strong soul connection a partnership um, I feel like this person wants to have a deeper relationship. But I feel like this person may not be available to do so at this time. But I feel like they're working on it. You know? Um, not showing their true feelings. Hide, personify, pretend. So I definitely feel like this person is not telling you the real deal. They're not telling you what's really going on with their, in their lives. Like I said, I feel like this person is attached. Okay. Um, we have sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. So I, I feel like this person really wants some kind of change. Because I feel like this person truly is falling in love with you. Okay. Um, very interesting energy. For this person. Okay. Let's see. Give me some more messages for this person. Tell me what this person really thinks. Really feels. What's going on with this person. Okay. They think about you constantly. They feel like this is just the beginning. They may have to focus on family. So they may already have a family in place that they're focusing on. Um, this person may be married. They may have children. Um, but I feel like you are a very happy distraction from their life. Okay. Um, and they know that it'd be better to go your separate ways. But they feel like it's up to you. They feel like they have sent you messages time and time again. Um, and I don't feel like they sent them. Because I feel like this person really wants to come clean. They really want to make you more aware of the situation. They may also be watching your social media. Because I feel like this person thinks about you all the time. They, they may be spying on you to see what you're doing. They may be looking you up to see what's going on in your life. What they feel like they're missing. Um, and we have don't trust them. Wow. We also have what I need to tell you will hurt your feelings. Okay. I still want you. Okay, um, let's get some oracle messages for this person. 
came. Let's get some oracle messages. Tell me more about this connection, spirit. Tell me more about this connection. Unlikely. Hmm. There's something better. And we have the situation will improve. Ask your angels for guidance. Ask for help from others. Not the right time. Okay. I feel like this is your message. And at the bottom you have listen to your intuition. Okay, so this is what I have for you, pile number three. You know, I wish I had a better message for you, but I feel like this is what you need to hear in order to get through your situation. Um, so I hope this helps, pile number three. Uh, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. If this reading doesn't resonate, Please take a look at another pile, pile number one or pile number two. Okay. And also take a look at your sun, moon, and rising. I have all of the March readings put up there. Um, you can find that in a playlist on my website, on my channel. So take a look at that. And until your next reading, pile number three, many blessings to you. Love and light.